Someone got caught. The Frankenstein? Someone started taking out of the Legos. That is a lot of Legos. Here is the Millennium Falcon set. I mean, at this rate, it just... It's better to put all our savings in Legos. Who would buy this? They're giving out some burgers and some uh, sausage company, but I want to try this the next time we come. I want to get that. We are at Disney Springs Saturday morning at 10.54 and this is the line to get through security from the parking garage. Someone got caught. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize they, they added all this tight security now in Disney Springs. shopping, grab some lunch, and then we will head back. We've been in line for about 35 minutes. Baby Yoda. That is a lot of Legos. Oh, that's big. $800. That's it. It's crazy. I mean, at this rate, it just, it's better to put all our savings in Legos because they're just going up. They're accumulating an appreciating value higher than gold right now. Got the Home Alone set. Yeah, 
They have a little area where you're able to pick and build your pieces and form them, form your own sets. Adidas. Lego set. Who would buy this? Let me in the comments if people are actually interested in buying this. A sneaker set. I the right minds will say, hey, you know, I wish I, wish I could dismantle a sneaker. Weird. Uh oh, Winnie the Pooh set? Uh, right next to the Sonic the Hedgehog set. I have to admit, the Sonic one looks cool. It's the Batwing for $200, and then right next to it is the Tumblr for $230. And up above it is the 1960s Batmobile. Ooh, a much smaller Tumblr. That's 40 And a small little Batman set. What? Which one? Yeah, I got the that one. How? We have a modern cowl. They have a lot of Batman stuff. They have a uh, Catwoman set. A much smaller Tumblr set. Yeah, there's all kinds of uh, Batman scenes. Yeah, for a second there, I thought this was Voltron. It looks like to be like a generic super robot. Still looks pretty cool. And right next to a lion. And here is the Millennium Falcon set. It's really huge, but very, very detailed. And it's worth $800. Jeez. So let me just take my out a second or third mortgage on that. Heck, with cryptocurrency prices, it might be better to just invest it in Legos. And then here is R2D2. And then, of course, we can't leave the store without saying goodbye to the Hulk. Look how big this thing is. Show you for comparison. Hulking out herself. And it's just a lot of Lego pieces. This thing must... I wonder if it weighs a lot. It probably does. This place looks pretty cool. It's um, a sausage company, but I want to try this the next time we come. I want to get that. New York pastrami brew and an all meat hot dog with sweet pastrami Swiss sauerkraut and Russian dressing on a house made roll. Yeah, I like the Hawaiian one. Oh, this one? Yeah. All beef hot dog top with grilled pineapple salsa, spam, and teriyaki on a house made roll. Looks interesting. If we weren't uh, planning to go someplace else to eat, we would probably try this right now. Maybe they next time. They also have a plant based one. And they all come with chips, so that's good. We're at Disney Springs, and they are doing a big thing for the um, Bob's Burger movie. A lot of people here, and it looks like they're doing, they're giving out some stuff. So we're going to go see what they got over here. Yeah, it looks like they're giving out cheeseburgers. So yeah, it looks like they're giving out some burgers and some, um, like, two cheeseburgers. So with that. I think the burgers are from Polite Pig. Yeah, the burgers are from Polite Pig. It is um, free. You gotta wait in this little line over here. Yeah, there's a photo app over there you can do. Um, we had grabbed some lunch over here. And now we are going to head home back to Tampa. So join us for our next destination. Press the like button and subscribe so you are aware of any new videos we post. Until next time. So one of the cookies we got at Gideon's was the pasta. I think it's the pistachio cookie. I'd have to look back at the menu thing. But this chocolate chips and pistachios and toffee are in here. And the other one we got was the coffee cake one that everyone lines up for every day that they only have, I think, in the morning until they sell out. But let's give it another try. And they're very soft in the center. Like, I can press into this. I don't know if you can see that, but... Mm -hmm. And there is sea salt mixed into this as well. I can see parcels of the sea salt. And I can see one of the pistachios. <laughs> look, at, look at Cash in the background staring. Oh. Okay, so let's try this. <laughs> All right. Mmm. All the flavors come together. I can definitely taste the salt. I can taste the toffee. I can taste the chocolate. And I can taste the pistachio. Is it too overpowering? It's not empowering. You can see the thickness of that cookie. You can see they give you a lot. Mm -hmm. It was really good. I think they said, what, they're two pounds? Jeez.
Weighs almost more than cash. So that one was that one. So this is the coffee. Look, look, the Co dog. I think it's coffee. The dog's cake. trying to get closer. <laughs> so let's try this one. If you like a snickerdoodle cookie, you'll like this. Yeah. Looks like it's going to fall apart. Mm hmm. Look how thick that is. Yeah. They're very crumbly. It definitely tastes like a snickerdoodle. So, all in all, I think I like the toffee one better. Or the pistachio toffee. But I'm more of a real sweet, salty mix flavor. I love that more than I would love this, just the plain cinnamon. Would you get the cinnamon again? I would get it again. But if I had to choose, I'd get You got this. That one. There you go, folks. All right. Yeah.